Before we discuss how to convert spot color to process color, we will define first what is spot and process color. So, what is spot color? Spot colors are easiest thought of as solid colors that are mixed before printing, similar to how paint is mixed at home improvement stores. Precisely measured pigments are added to a base and mixed together to perfectly match the intended Pantone color swatch needed in the design. What is process color? Process color is commonly referred to as 4-color or CMYK. Short for cyan, magenta, yellow and black. Now that you know the definition of spot and process color, let us discuss now on how to convert from spot color to process color. Sometimes, we need to change the color of the artwork because it needed. And we don't have any choice but to change it. Though changing color from spot to process or process to spot will make you disappointed as it will look like very different from the original color. I have two steps on how to change spot to process color. Here is the first step. First, I have to change it from color mode book color, to color mode CMYK, and then it will allow me to change this to process. And if we look at before, and after it will look like different. But of course this is why we have spot colors, in order to enable us to print those vibrant colors that we just can't accomplish with CMYK. So, that's one way that I could change it from spot to process. But here's another way. If I select all this artwork, I can go to edit. Edit colors. Convert to CMYK. And that does it immediately. I still have the spot colors to make my swatches panel content be consistent with my artwork, especially in case I want to create other objects using those colors, I need to add those colors to my swatches panel. And I think it'd be a good idea to get rid of the colors that I'm not using. So in the swatches panel, I'm going to choose select all unused. You can see that they're outlined. And when I hit the trash can, they're deleted. And now to add the colors I used, I'm going to go to the swatches panel menu again. This time I'm going to choose add used colors. And you can see there's the color back again. Here are the actual values. In other words, that was the determination that Illustrator made. So I would say, in the interest of realism, when you know that at the end of the job it's going to print process. If you know that you're never going to print spot colors, I recommend that you actually specify your colors as CMYK to begin with. For one thing, it gives you a slightly more realistic view on screen of what's going to happen. It also ensures that your content's correct when it goes to the printing company. That way they know for sure that it's intended to print in process. So, the more you can do to make sure that your file's in keeping the way it's going to finally going to print, I think the better off you are.